Okay, right, guys, I'm going to go over parts of the review. Um, you can check your answers by uh, using the quiz. The quizzy we did in class, a lot of the questions are on that quizzy. I know we looked at some uh, star uh, type questions, the new style, but you can also, most of these problems are on there. So it's a way of you to check your understanding. So please use that to check your answers. Um, so these are some facts. Make sure you understand horizontal lines have uh, e a slope that equals to zero. The equation of a horizontal line is always y equals zero equals a number. Um, another way to help you kind of remember a horizontal line or it has a slope of zero, I can make the word the zero, the z, with first drawing that horizontal line to pretty much create the letter. Okay. So remember on your your axes, uh, we have x and y. Uh, the horizontal line is going to touch the y-axis, so that's y equals a number. Okay, so vertical is when we have undefined slope. You can abbreviate that for u and d, and it's always x equals a number. So the key to this, you might want to memorize um, these acronyms right here, hoi vux. Okay, the h is for horizontal, the o is for zero slope, y equal a number, vertical line, v for vertical. U for undefined slope, x equals a number. So we did a problem like this on the Quizzy uh, to check your understanding. Uh, hopefully we realize you're just putting a point where y equals a negative 6, and then a horizontal line goes through it. For something like this on number 1, you have to pay attention to the key information. So we're looking at the keywords here are parallel to the y-axis through the point eight, negative 8. Uh, six. So, if I'm going to be parallel to the to the y-axis, the y-axis is a vertical line. So, what I do is go to the point negative eight six, plot that point. And uh, I don't know if y'all noticed these are increments of two, two, four, six, eight. And then, uh, since it's parallel to this y-axis, then it has to be a vertical line. I know that's crooked, but we need to draw that line. Um, here uh, we have x equals 8, so you put the point on the 8, and since it is x equals, it has to go through that point, so through the x-axis. And then for something like this, the key information again, parallel to the x-axis, okay? So we want to plot the point negative 4, 8, which is here. We want parallel to the x-axis, so it would end up being a horizontal line. So my equation for something like this, remember, if I just get the point and it's horizontal, it has to match the y-axis, the y-coordinate, so this would be y equals 8. So this is kind of correlates to 3 and 4. We have to visualize the axes. The keyword on here, equation that's perpendicular to the y-axis through the point. So if it's perpendicular to the y-axis, the y-axis is vertical, which I'm kind of showing with this graph here. So perpendicular means it's going to be a horizontal line to make that right angle like that. So that means we have to focus to with the y-coordinate, which is that negative 3. And then we write our equation which would just be y equals negative 3. And that would be our answer. Okay. So if I'm doing perpendicular, number 4, perpendicular to the x-axis, the x-axis is a horizontal line. Perpendicular would be vertical. So that means I need to focus. Verticals deal with x's. So this would be x equals 2. Okay. So know these facts. All right, and then we're going to get into x and y intercepts on the part two. So uh, let me go to the next page. Hold on.